so excited to have the whole world come see this venue. We think it's the world's best sports facility. It's going to be spectacular on Sunday, and we're excited. We were walking through it this morning, Jim. You said it's like a building with a stadium inside. Yeah, yeah this is not. Uh, uh, you know what? The word dome is clearly wrong. <laughs> yes. It's museum of football. But dome just doesn't give you any sense of what you've got here. Dome shows your age when you're saying dome. I mean, the reality is these new state-of-the-art facilities, I mean, this is really setting a new trend the way it is inside. It's spectacular. You were talking during the break. It is the largest construction project in the history of the state. We talk a lot about infrastructure on our program, but talk about a bit about how it was getting something like this completed. Well, there was a lot of back and forth, but we had great partners, Governor Dayton, the state of Minnesota, legislative leaders. There was a lot of uh, private-public partnership, but there was so much economic development that got spurred by this and the amount of jobs, 8,000 construction jobs that were generated by this stadium and the amount of uh, effort that went into this. And we have a great, great community here. And this is a great reward for the fact that they stepped up and invested in such a great stadium. Uh, I know you as someone from Livingston, New Jersey, not far from Summit. Okay, so just help me here. Yeah. I get up, I go to Starbucks. People say good morning. I mean, what is that all about? Yeah. People say hi everywhere. Is that just some sort of thing they do? And they're doing that even with your hat. I know. Which no, is impressive. Happy to see you. Glad you're rooting for your team. Yes. I mean, where's the beer cans coming up my head? This is a remarkable place. Well, the Vikings fans and Minnesota fans, they're great sports fans. They're the best fans, we think, in the NFL. But they've been so great to us in our 13 years of ownership. It's a great community, great corporate community. Uh, the number of Fortune 500 companies here. We have great host chairs, Richard Davis from U.S. Bank, Doug Baker from Ecolab, and Marilyn Carlson Nelson from Carlson. I mean, these are uh, a, a great leadership team, great community, and uh, they deserve this. It's a, and, and, and they're so warm and welcoming. I mean, I think everyone's having a great time. It doesn't get talked enough about uh, corporate culture of the companies that are here, and we have Inga Tulin on tonight. Uh, community will return, give money to the community, pride, I mean, you see these signs, billboards, and what I think you see is not just like, well, money was paid, but like, yeah, my company's participating in yeah. this. And I think you can tell the, the, these corporate leaders know when you have a major venue like this that can attract the Super Bowl, Final Fours, X Games, all the big events, it's great for the employees. It, it helps attract business, helps attract people to come here and have their families uh, raised here. So it's great all around, and I, 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 we're just excited to be part of this. Now, now a touch of your question yeah. on the NFL. Yeah. Journal has a poll out this morning. They poll men ages 18 to 49. They ask, do you follow the NFL closely? Four years ago, it was 75 plus. Now it's in the 50s. How, how do you process that? Well, I, I know one thing that Commissioner Goodell and all, all of us in ownership are, are working hard at is making sure that the game is still the game. And you just looked two weeks ago at that miracle catch that we had at the Vikings. Those kind of plays, no matter what happens, the game still shines. It's a moment everyone, I know Viking fans, but sports fans and even non-sports fans, they remember where they were when something magical like that happens. So uh, I'm not sure how those numbers work, but I know NFL and American football is the greatest sport in the world, greatest team sport. and. I know we're going to make it better. We're going to work on youth football, the safety of the game, making the product better, figuring out maybe tweaking things on rules constantly every year, making it better and more entertaining for the fans. So I think we're still in a great direction. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.